Welcome to the status report highlight for the 3rd of July 2018, ladies and gentlemen, and oh boy, is it a short but sweet one today. Some national holidays are coming up in the Czech Republic and a big part of the team took this chance to take a few days vacation, hence this status report will be shorter than usual, however, we are diving into exciting content regardless, as we will be talking about the upcoming first big update for 0.63. And now I shall quote lead producer Eugen. It's about time to talk about the content update that's coming to the stress test branch very soon, and we'll get rolled over to the experimental servers after making sure everything works as intended. We will try to batch the content updates in this way, so we can stabilize and make sure the content works properly. But what is this content you speak of, you say? Well, AI sensors, audibility, and visibility. With this change, you will see your stealth options getting expanded by quite a bit. Besides stances, which we can already do in 6.3 at the moment, i.e. crouching to hide visibility a bit more from the infected so you can sneak around town, hopefully not getting attacked by some infected and getting out safe. But in the future, the colors and weight of items will affect your ability to avoid zombies and confuse their perception. By colors, I guess this means if you're wearing a bright yellow raincoat, you're more visible than if you were wearing camo. By weight, maybe the more audible your character would be, the more weight you're carrying. As with older versions of DayZ, say 0.62, the more items your character is carrying, the more noise they seem to make. So drop all your valuables, go into a town dead silent wearing camo, you should be just fine. <laughs> yeah, all right then. Next up, something I <clears throat> may have played with with some uh, modded tools, Hidden Stash. With this feature, you'll be able to hide your loot underground and put containers to use. The shovel will be spawning alongside the new containers ready to use. Same goes for corpses. So we did mention this quickly in the Compass podcast, and it looks like corpses can be buried. We called it. We called it, ladies and gentlemen. High five. Next up, character unconsciousness. Shock stats and weapon hits that increase it can cause the character to fall unconscious to be possibly saved by friends in your group. With the unconscious state, you'll be seeing more options to disable players and interact with them in combat. Of course, we already know what unconscious is like, we've had it in 6.2, but the new, improved unconscious state will be coming to a 0.63 update near you soon. And of course, you can't have unconsciousness without CPR, the ability to CPR people with the high shock values. Gestures. The new radial menu alongside the newly added gestures will be available for even more interactions and videos you may create. I really like the idea of the radial wheel. I kind of hate pressing the F keys, I'm going to be honest. So the radial wheel, I'm actually looking forward to just quickly choose which gesture I want to do in an easier way. Because I'm always guessing which F key it is and sticking my finger up at people by accident. Repairing. Items like the sewing kit, weapon cleaning kit, duct tape and more are seeing a comeback as durability matters again. Weapons don't jam yet, but that's something you'll definitely see in a future content update. New weapons. Yes, there are new weapons coming to the game and it's two classics that everybody loves. M4A1 and Mosin. Scopes. There is no definite list of scopes coming yet in the first content update, but based on the weapons currently in the game, we will deliver a meaningful selection. And by selection, does that mean multiple scopes for a single weapon maybe? Time will tell. Soft skills. The soft skills are getting in, so you'll see the basic specialization working and your crafts bringing better results faster. Environmental exposure. The temperature system will start working without any repercussions first to gather more information on how harsh we want to get. Please don't go too harsh. Jumping. We have started working on a huge animation set for jumps and climbing this year. So with the upcoming update, the first part of this package is going to get in and give you the ability to cross some basic obstacles, improving your maneuverability throughout Generous. I can't tell you how much I love this little jumping video clip. It's so good. Diseases. Diseases and associated effects, coughing, sneezing and more, are returning as well as items that resolve possible negatives, such as purification tablets. This includes the possibility of diseases transferring from player to player and items. Oh my god, stay away from me. The Compass. The first part of the navigation system in DayZ besides the new map is the Compass. Hopefully, it will help you learn more about Generous and its intricacies. Ambient Loot One of the core features that we want to use to solve a possible lack of loot is a set of items that spawn not centrally, but based on the player position and interactions. This might need a lot more tweaks, so expect its values to change even during testing. 
I'm still not 100% sure what ambient loot is. I thought it was like dynamic bananas, but that's dynamic loot. I don't know. Somebody help me. And finally, for this big list, voice communication. The whole voice communication system, along with radios, public radios, megaphone, etc., is coming to the game to give you objectives on the map, as well as new options to communicate and meet with other survivors in the game. So, how soon is this going to happen? The features listed here are undergoing testing, as of now, and the content has been branched away from the internal development version, with many more fixes and improvements to stability, security, and server performance. On a side note, since the internal version of this patch, we resolved the GDPR issues blocking the ability to switch to experimental version. With its introduction, we will enable this option for server owners. So, with you saying, hopefully next update we should be able to have experimental on community servers, if we want to opt in? You better be. Oh my god, you better be. And Eugen personally is looking forward to all of this content coming back, alongside things that have changed and have been improved upon heavily. Well, I don't know about you guys, but this update can't come soon enough. And that is all for the status report highlight for the 3rd of July 2018. But if you want to listen to some more Daisy Talky Talks, I did do the Compass Daisy podcast with Cooper, Rage, and Cam. Links to this is in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out the community spotlight in the full status report itself. Don't forget to catch me live on Twitch, Middays GMT, most weekdays. I should be live tomorrow. Go over there, follow, subscribe, hit that like button. I'll see you peeps next time.